Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Crazy Pie, and we are back for another video. Sorry, this video was not out yesterday, or it was supposed to come out yesterday, but I'm actually making this on Sunday. I'm not actually that, uh, you know, available to make videos on Saturday, so I'm going to try to make it on Friday night, um, because I do actually work on Saturdays, so it's kind of rough. I don't work on Fridays, so Friday nights so are going to be up to when I'm going to have to record the video, but... Sorry, if you guys do want to stay up to date of when I do record a video, check out my Twitter link in the description below. Just go ahead and shoot it a follow. If you don't even have an account, it takes like two seconds to make an account. So just go ahead, make a Twitter account, and then shoot me a follow. And then I'll post down on my Twitter on when I can't upload, when a new video will come. Also, when I'm streaming, I'm going to start streaming too. Just streaming some Battlefront 2 as well as streaming some World War 2. So maybe even Destiny 2. The DLC does come out soon. It's the 26th of November right now. So... I believe it comes out on December the 5th, so that's not even that far away, but yeah, check it out, Twitter, down in the description below, I'll link it there, and uh, you know, like I said, just check it out, I'll notify you when I upload a video, as well as, you know, when I'm not able to record a video, when the next video will be out, if I can't record, and sneak peeks, and then also with live streams, and it'll just be a fun time, so go ahead and shoot it up, it's always a party down there, so link in the description below. But yeah guys, we are here with another video talking about the speakies, let me just pull it up here. It's not really the speakeasy, it's actually the grease gun, not the speakeasy. But what it is, is it's basically the grease gun modified so well that it's pretty much like the, the speakeasy from Advanced Warfare. If you know what the speakeasy was, it was basically an epic ASM-1, or if that's what it's called, Elite, an Elite ASM-1. Basically, Elites are like really high tier guns, and the ASM-1 is basically a remake of the Thompson, and it was an SMG, or the Tommy gun, if you will. This is practically the same. So the speakeasy, what made it so good is it had a high damage and then it had good range as well as a good ammo count as well as high rate of fire. So if you have good range, damage, and then a high rate of fire, those three things alone, you're pretty much unbeatable at short to medium range gunfights. And then the thing where it has more ammo too, add that onto the mix, it's pretty much just, it's, it's, it's so overpowered guys. And... We've pretty much remade that in Call of Duty World War II with the Grease Gun. And I chose the Grease Gun because it's a very easy submachine gun to get. You could do it with the Thompson. I just really like the Grease Gun's recoil. And I'm using Rapid Fire and there's no grip on it. And it's quite fine. So the class that we're going to be rolling with here is going to be... I'll put a picture up on screen right now. And the gameplay in the background too, just let me note. It might be starting in the second half of Domination and then go into the first... I don't know why I do it that way, it's just I absolutely killed it in the second half. So, it was a really good game, I think I went like 36, close to 40 and like 15 or whatever. It's not bad, it's my first game in like 3 days. 3 days, <laughs> but you know, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter, it's just a gameplay. So I might go second half, my numbers, I don't, second half then the first half, it doesn't really matter. But let's get into this. So we have the grease gun, we're gonna be rolling, oh yeah also this is a grease gun, it's just called the brandy. Um, it's just, it's just an epic grease gun. I just use it because I like its iron sights better, and I get more XP per kill, so why wouldn't I use it? I mean, it makes sense, but it's pretty good. It's a pretty good gun. So we're going to be rolling with the grease gun, and the three attachments that you're going to want to use, that's right, three, not two, three, because we're going to be using the basic training prime. The three attachments that you're going to want to use is going to be extended mag, obviously, because you want the ammo count, rapid fire, obviously, I mean, you can pretty much guess, as well as long barrel, because... The Reese gun in itself does not have that much recoil, and if you actually do add on the extended mag, it goes from, I believe, 30 to 45 ammo, so that's pretty good, that's almost at 50, 45, anything over 40 for a submachine gun is also, is just, it's really good, right, let's be real here, because it's a submachine gun, it's a small, small gun, 45 bullets, that's quite a bit, so, you know, we're just definitely going to go ahead and rip the extended mag, also, we have, you know, extra range here, because we're using... Or not long barrel, it's called advanced rifling, I just call it long barrel, but well, advanced rifling if you will, and then, you know, we're going to be rolling with rapid fire, so you have the range, you have the damage, because you're going to have rapid fire, so you can put more bullets into enemies a lot faster, as well as if they're a little bit further away, the recoil is not too bad, and it is a submachine gun. Sorry for that really random cut there, it's water, I'm in a basement right now, whenever I record videos, I'm just in my basement, because it's just, it's only me down here, so it's like my own space to record and I can be as loud as I want, but I, you know, I don't want to. Water comes from the pipes and if the random cuts do happen, it's because the water, it just sounds obnoxious in video. So I don't want to have that, so I'm sorry for the random cut and if 
I'm talking about one thing and they just cut to another thing. You, you'll see it in live streams if you join my streams, the random water. It's super irritating, but unfortunately it has to happen. But yeah, Grease Gun, Extended Mag, Rapid Fire, as well as Advanced Rifling, aka Long Barrel. For the Division, you're going to be rolling with the Airborne Division only because you have the Suppressor. Don't use the Suppressor. You can use the Suppressor if you really want to for more XP for the medals. Up to you. I just use it because you can sprint for longer distances because it's a submachine gun. Obviously, you want to sprint for longer distances because you want to run. This is a huge, very good class for rushing with. It's not that good at very long range, like sniper range, but you know, if you are going to go ahead and rush, it's so good at close to medium range. Definitely use the Airborne Division because you can climb over obstacles faster. Your sprint speed is very much increased as well as you can also sprint for longer distances. So just those three alone, with this small stun machine gun, it's gonna be so, so good. And trust me, it is crucial. For the basic training, if you have not guessed it by now, we're using primed only because you wanna have those three attachments and you're not using the infantry division to get those three attachments. So quite obviously, primed is going to be your best bet. Secondary, doesn't really matter. I'm just rocking the PO8 with a quick draw. It doesn't matter whatsoever. Use whatever primary or secondary you want. Uh, doesn't really matter. Machine pistol is good if you want it. I don't use it, but whatever secondary and then whatever lethal you would like. It really does not matter. That's pretty much it, guys. That's going to be the, the the speakeasy class setup, if you will. Go ahead and try it out. Tell me how you guys like it. Down below. Honestly, it is so so overpowered. If you get the epic variant like I did, you'll have such good iron sights too. So go ahead, give it a go because it's just so. So overpowered. Just trust me, guys. Use it. It's so strong. You'll definitely get some. I don't even. I don't even have a de one more minute in this game, and I'll have a full 24 hours played. And it's been out for like three weeks. So that's kind of sad. And I've already had very good results with this class setup. So go ahead, give it a shot. Tell me how you guys like it, and you know, I'll just comment down below, and we'll start a discussion down there. But yeah. Speakeasy, check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon for another video. Hopefully a live commentary soon as well. So I want to start to do Battlefront 2 because I'm in love with that game. It's so much, I love Star Wars and just it's pretty cool and that, that game is just so much. I barely play video games anymore. I probably only play maybe like I probably only play like three hours a week which is very low and that's mainly just to, for, to get clips for videos. So. Most of my time now is going to be spent on making videos when I do play games, so I'll definitely be hitting you guys up with some live commentaries because they're fun and mostly just well-edited videos. But yeah, I'll see you guys soon for another video. Peace, guys. This is just a quick little update. Not like an update, but it's like a quick little shout-out to my boy, K Hoops. Check him out down in the description below. He uploads various videos, and I believe he is also doing some World War II on there as well. Let's go ahead, check him out down there. Hopefully we can get him, maybe not to like 100 subscribers because that's a little bit too much to ask, obviously, way too much. I, I'm not sure what he's at right now, but if he's under uh, under 50, hopefully we can get him a little bit closer to that goal of 50 subscribers. But yeah, link down in the description below as well as I'll leave it on the end screen. Go ahead and check out my friend K Hoops down in the description below.